and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, a peace that was meant to be with God as a Let me walk with my brother in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my solemn vow to take each moment and live each moment with peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Uh, this evening as you join us. At this time, I would like to welcome our very own Chaplain Shelley Hill that will be providing our Pledge of Allegiance and our invocation. Thank you, Deshay. Let's do our Pledge of Allegiance first. I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. God Almighty, we are thankful and grateful in this season of shimmering lights that lifts our spirit. May we be a light, O oh God, to those around us, especially in this difficult time. May we reflect your love and mercy and grace, and may we know and experience true joy this holiday season. Amen. Thank you, Shelley, and thank you, Miss Yvonne, as well. At this time, I would like to acknowledge all the hard work and the support that our organization receives every day and every month, year in and year out, for the board members for Community Hospice, Inc., all of our board members for Community Hospice Foundation, as well as our board members for CHI Management. And I also want to express a special thanks to all of our staff and our organizations and all that support us throughout the year. Um, I would also like to say a special thanks to our committee and our Friends of Hospice Group that provides this event to us each year, our Light Up a Life. And again, it is their 35th anniversary for this event. I would also like to express my deep appreciation for their support and all of their efforts that they do whether it is planning events or raising funds or providing for those in our community that our Friends of Hospice do for us. Our holiday tree lighting is about honoring and celebrating our loved ones that live in our hearts. Tonight, we would like to take a moment to recognize all that have been affected by the evolving public health crisis and those that have lost someone close to them. 
We would like to take a moment to recognize the many heroes from different industries across our community that have worked so hard to keep our family members, our friends, and our neighbors safe. We hope that tonight brings some light and some joy into your holiday season. And at this time, it is my pleasure to welcome our president of Friends of Community Hospice, Mrs. Meryl Snyder. Thank you, Deshay. And thank you for everyone that is joining us tonight. Um, it's different this year than it's been in the past, but we're so grateful for those of you that are watching us this evening. We want to say a special thank you to Memorial Medical Center, our, a partner of Sutter Health, for co-hosting the tree lighting. For more than three decades, Memorial Center Medical Center has provided this venue for community hospice. They have worked hard with Friends of Community Hospice to make this a memorable evening to honor our loved ones. A special thanks to Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Gino Patrizio, Beth McKenzie, Diane Bingham, and Dan Ely, who have worked closely to ensure everything was ready for tonight. I'd also like to thank our event sponsors, Mel Bradley's Electric and Solar, Memorial Medical Center, Claudia and Michael Krasnick, Modesto Steele, Marianne Wood, the du Duval family in memory of Patricia Keel, Janice Lucero, and Dr. and Mrs. Michael Zeppa. We would also like to wish uh, or extend a special thank you to Greg Kyler from City Signs, who created our beautiful Light of a Life sign that's on the corner of Briggsmore and Coffee, and Doug Smith with Signs Design for the installation of our tree lights. Finally, I would like to thank our event co chairs, Yvonne Taylor and Pam DeFranzia. Our ornament scribes, Nancy Podolsky and Cheryl Mack, and Denise DeRoy, our acknowledgement scribe. Special thanks to all of our committee members and Friends of Community Hospice members who have worked so hard on this event. The Friends of Community Hospice would like to welcome you and thank you again for joining us. We were, our organization was founded in 1979 by Mary Jean Cabarin Thompson. The Friends of Community Hospice is a group of volunteers who assist community hospice with their mission through fundraising, community awareness, and special events. The idea of a tree lighting for Modesto started in 1985. The first community hospice tree was inside a building in downtown. It was then suggested to find an outside venue with the tree more visible to the community. So Friends of Community Hospice moved the event to Sutter Memorial Medical Center. This tree lighting ceremony is the longest running of all of our events and it's near and dear to our hearts. The money raised at this event goes to support the compassionate work of community hospice. As we have all come to celebrate, remember and honor our dear loved ones on this night, we will be reminded of the light of their smiles and the light they brought to our lives. This year, we would like to honor all of our community essential workers by naming them as our tree lighters. It has been a challenging year for all of us due to the COVID-19 public health crisis that we are experiencing right now. We are eternally grateful to these individuals on the front lines who continue to show great courage, dedication, and perseverance in effort to keep all of us healthy and safe. Tonight, we are honored to have three of those heroes with us. Kara Phillips, Nurse of the Year from Sutter Health Memorial Medical Center, David Ritchie from Rayleigh's in Village One, and Cheryl Kirk, a registered nurse with Community Hospice. Together, they will light our tree to represent and honor all essential workers. Are we ready? Okay, let's have a countdown then, everyone. We'll start with 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, light the tree. Woohoo! Once again, we thank all of our essential workers for their continued efforts to keep all of us safe during this COVID-19 time. A spe special thank you to all of you who joined us this evening. We wish you a happy and safe holiday season. Adam?
silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, crown young virgin, mother and child, holy infant so tender and Sleep in heaven, deep peace. Sleep in heaven, deep peace. Silent night, holy night. Shepherds quake at the sight. Stream from heaven afar, heavenly hosts sing Alleluia. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Silent Son of God loves pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus Lord at thy birth, Jesus Lord at thy Thank you, Adam. Again, I would just like to say a special thanks to Memorial Medical Center, as well as all of our wonderful friends of Community Hospice, all of our staff and our supporters for this event, and especially to Adam Serpa for his lovely music tonight. And we wish all of you a very joyous and healthy holiday season. Thank you for joining us.